As math and science teachers, we strive to provide experiences which focus on the content standards, connect the content to real-world experiences, integrate engineering design, give students voice and control, engage students with hands-on experiences, connect to a societal need. CBL integrates all of these characteristics as students begin with the big idea develop an essential question, identify a design challenge, brainstorm guiding questions, participate in concept foundation activities, and utilize the engineering design process to create and test design products. Now let's look at these pieces and how they fit together. This cello is made from an oil can and wood that was thrown away in the garbage. It sounds like this. What is sound? The essential question how was the musical scale created? We generated interest by looking at a wave generator and then mathematically we tied the unit circle into the sine wave and the cosine wave. First began by studying various types of musical instruments and how they generate sound. Students then broke into groups and studied various musical instruments and how they produce sound. Then we set about constructing our instruments, keeping in mind that we had to produce an eight-note scale. Here a group of students is demonstrating their pan flute by playing Mary Had a Little Lamb. And here's a picture of their final product. Here we're demonstrating and testing the violin to make sure it produces the proper note. And one group produced a thumb piano. This unit covers transformations, which is a math expectation for eighth graders. Using geocaching as a hook, the challenge requires students to make a coordinate grid using reflections, rotations, and dilations of a polygon to map locations. The hook involves students using their own cell phone devices. They navigated around the school using a GPS on their smartphones to various places on campus where I hid virtual treasure. This was their introduction to geocaching, and you could feel the excitement and the longing to know more. The challenge itself involved the Secret Service finding the president by decoding a map using transformations. The students used their coordinate grids, which were prepared by other teams, and geocaching to succeed. The big idea which was tracking, locating, and investigating locations. It's time to come up with a project. And you guys are going to help me do that. But before we can just say, hey, this is what we want our project to be, we need to have some conversations, OK? So we're going to do a lot of discussing today. And by the end of the day, you guys are going to have given me a lot of ideas so that this weekend I can go home and I can use all of your ideas, put them together, and come up with one big challenge, which is going to be a project for you guys to complete next week. <laughs> so we've been talking about a GPS, which is a global positioning system, and we've been talking about latitude and longitude. So it's kind of important because uh, we can definitely use this in, in everything that we do in life from day to day. You don't even know that it's happening and you're using it a lot. But to be more specific, um, we use it when we track vehicles, right? We use it when we need directions. Here's what happened to my phone. My phone was like, do 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 do. It's the phone's ringing. It's calling the satellites up here and it's saying, hey satellites, can you tell me where I'm at right now? So the satellites talk to each other 
and they say, yeah, yeah, you know, I think that she's here. And, and then they talk to this one, and they talk to this one, and they said, boom, 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 back down to Mrs. Dunu's cell phone. You are at Goshen Middle School. It's basically sending signals to each other, and it's calculating the distance from one satellite to the other satellite. And distance can be measured in time. So the three satellites talk, and however long it takes for that next satellite to get the message, they say, this must be your distance. This is where you are located on this Earth. How could our big idea, which is tracking, locating, and investigating locations, how can that impact society? If, you're getting, if you have any trouble getting started, here's an example. I know that a, a challenge with today's society, if we're talking about the country, an, a problem that I see sometimes are missing children. Right? We're always looking for missing children. It's terrible. But with technology that we have today, it's very easy to try to, to at least set up a way to, to locate these children. A lot of the times we do. Sometimes we don't. It's unfortunate. House arrest. Yeah. That's, I'm chase king. That's definitely. Kids what, he has house arrest? You didn't know that? No. Oh, right now? Yeah. Wow. This is technically the only Do you know him? Yeah, no, I haven't. Yeah, so, so, kid was messing with so house arrest is a way to, like, you know, make sure that people that aren't supposed to be out and about are actually where they're supposed to be. What are you guys thinking over here? What's a good one you've come up with? Oh, lost phones. Yeah. Let's talk, though. I want you guys to um, choose one out of all of yours um, that we're going to, to talk about in class here for just a second. I'm going to track down animals that are in trouble in the Her idea, if you didn't hear her, was to track different animals. Perhaps you were saying specifically polar bears, right? And you were talking about global warming and kind of just to see, are there a lack of polar bears out there because of the warming conditions? Anybody think of that? I know a couple of you said to locate animals. How many people thought of that in their groups? A couple different groups? Good. I think that's a fantastic idea. It's definitely impacting society. Absolutely. This is the brainstorming process. First, we're going to help each other, you know, brainstorm some possible ideas. Okay? And then I'm going to go home. I'm going to plan out what it is. I'm going to use some of your ideas here, for example. Um, will GPS help us find our cars? Will GPS help us find iPhones? So I'm going to calculate everything and I'm going to come up with a challenge. And this is called challenge-based learning. So that means that you guys as a class came up with a challenge. I didn't as your teacher. Okay, I'm just putting it together for you. So I hope it's something good and then I'll let you know. And actually though, I'm, I'm going to also ask the other classes too. So out of all the classes, we'll kind of figure out what it is that we want to do. I also really, really felt like I nailed the CBL this time, um, the challenge-based learning intro. To get them involved with, you know, how this affects our society, finding different locations, I think by having how that affects the society, having that discussion really got them into the, um, the unit, and then having them come up with the what the project could be. They just really, I think that this lesson wouldn't have been as successful without it. So I felt like they took a lot of ownership of coming up with the lesson itself.